off on another adventure, heading north, gonna go up the coast and I'm still searching for this mackerel off the shore. I've been trying to get one for a fair while now. I've got a mackerel curse put on me, I think. But it's gonna happen this this trip. I've got three days to make it happen and it's gonna happen. We're getting a mackerel and it's gonna be off the sand. It's gonna be wicked. So, got a few hours drive tonight before we get to the spot and fingers crossed for clean water in the morning. And yeah, we'll uh, drive through the night. We'll see you guys in the morning at the spot. This is gonna be awesome, I cannot wait. All right, we're six hours up the road. Finally at our spot, we're gonna to go to sleep now, set up the swags. I picked up Mitch on the way up in Geraldton, so he was up here for work, so we've jumped in the car with us, um, and we're gonna balloon out first thing in the morning from where we are, and fingers crossed for a mackerel. That's Hell the goal. Yeah. So, uh, up bright and early this morning. Um, we've got the baits. Sitting out, we're ready to go. Mine's ready to go. Mitch has got his out. Mitch just got dumped by a wave. So it is absolutely freezing. But uh, we'll get these baits out. I'll give a proper run through probably tomorrow morning on how we set up and do this. Um, but for now, let's get some fish in the car and something on the beach. So. That's about far enough out there. Mitch is probably out about 400, I'm probably out about 300. Um, leave the baits there for now until the sun comes a bit, up a bit more and we can see what the water colour looks like, but it doesn't look too bad this morning. We've got our baits splashing around on the surface under the helium. Now we're just going to wait for a big mackerel or a tuna to come past and eat it. Hopefully not too long. Oh, my poor reel just got soaked by a big wave. Nah, there's head shakes, man. That could be a mully. We're getting close to the time. Oh, Mitchy. There's, there's that rock in front, so just watch that one because he's getting close there. Oh. Oh no, it's been sitting in the rod tube for ages. You've snaked me on a good fish. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good where it's swimming there, man. That's a good fish, dude. I reckon it might be a big pink. It's got those head shakes sort of feel to it. It's moving a lot though. Quick, get him up over that rock. Quick, 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 quick. Oh no, was that on rock? Yep. Take it easy, let it let your line run through. Oh, that rock ledge in front there. Up, Off. Yep, go, 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 go. Oh, we're gonna get wet. <laughs> what do we got? Take it easy here, man. Let him go in and out with the wave. Oh, it's a pink, I think it's a pink. Oh, what is that? Little amber, amber. Oh, go! Cool. Little amberjack. <laughs> okay, we'll get him in the in the pool up here. <laughs> Mitch, with his first amberjack off the beach. Look at that for a nice little fish. He snaked me. I've had my rod out all day and he's just gone and chucked out a bait and got this one. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. All right, we'll get him back now. I'll just go put the camera down. Quick little revive. Oh. Oh, he's free in the, in the pool here. Okay, I'll go put the camera down. We'll go let him go properly. Let's get him back. Yeah, boy. Nice little way here to come in. Yeah, we're going to get wet doing this. All right, off he goes. There you go. A little bit deeper for him. Woo! Nice work, man. Awesome.
that wind was not supposed to come in like that. It's uh, really windy right now. So we're bailing on plan A and gonna go run down to some surf gutters and fish them instead. Hopefully they're not full of weed and we can actually fish them. Fingers crossed for some big mulloway. I'm at the afternoon plan at the moment. Met up with Ben, mate of mine from Jero. He's came up here to Kalbarri and he's paddled us across the river to Oyster Reef in the kayak. Yep, oh, Ben's got one. Whoa. This is sharp. Looks like a good fish. He's good. Oh, so Ben's paddled us across the river mouth here at Kaibari and he's onto a good tailor. I fluked one second cast. Oh, did you just drop it? Oh no. Big fish. Eight kilo. 80, 90 centimeters. What? That is massive. No? Oh, that's painful. And there's Taylor busting up in the channel here. I'm pretty keen. I'm running to try and go over there to fish it. Oh. Throwing the 10 pound gear. It's probably a dumb idea, but we're going to try it. Give it a shot. Oh, fishing for big Taylor. Come on. On the 10 pound. This is going to be pretty crazy. Second cast. Oh, it's got to be a Taylor. Oh, no, 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 don't go that way. Doesn't feel like a Taylor. Oh, no. I don't think that's a tailor. Oh, it is a tailor. Oh, that's big. That's a big tailor. Woo, crazy. That's a big tailor. On 10 pounds. <laughs> Second cast. Oh, come here, mate. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that is awesome. That's a big tailor. We'll get him back. <laughs> All right. Send him on his way. Look at that for a tailor. That's awesome. All right. Here we go, buddy. Off he goes. See you later. We're fishing our night spot. Mitch has got something. I don't know. I think it's got teeth, but it's coming a bit easy. Oh, a big shovel, maybe. 
Might not be a shovel. Could be a mully. Fucking big mully if it is. Oh, I don't know, man. Locked up, bro. Yeah, it's just so you can see him, you can see him. What do we got? Where is he? Is it a ray? That's a mull. It's is a it? mully. It's actually a mully. That's gone so hard. Dude. That's a good mully too. <laughs> Dude. That's big. That's proper. <laughs> Mitchell. Is that a proper mully? That's a proper one. Big surfy. Oh. Mitch. Ew. Big surf mully, boy. That's awesome. Oh. All right, we're going to keep this fish because they taste really good out of the surf. So this one's came from a river mouth. We'll keep him. We've got some people that want some fish. So. Look at the side of that tail. That's a big fish. Awesome. We're not even up to the moonrise when we wanted to fish. <laughs> All right. Well, that's one fish. Yeah. Well done, man. Cheers, man. Woo. What a fish. Mitch's big mull away. Oh, look at the size of this. How stoked are you, mate? Hell yeah. That thing is a bass. Awesome. We've got Mitch's mull away here. This is lovely fish we got this afternoon. Uh, we'll fill it him up, take all the fillets off it. But these fish, they got their name from the jewels in their head. So I'll get them out. They're like a small stone. It's their, their ear bones. You can age the fish off them, but I'll get them out and I'll show you. They're pretty cool, little stones inside their head. Two big fillets. One fillet completely deboned. That's all meat that we'll pack up. That's our fillets all gone. Here's our skin. Don't need that. We've got our fillets all done. Skin, bone, good to go. I'll chop them into pieces and we'll put them in our bags and chuck them in the fridge to chill them down. We'll get these jewels out of the head now. They're up underneath, behind the eye, above the gills. So we've got to get everything out of the way. So it's a bit of a mess, but uh, it's worth it. I'll show you in a sec. Okay. We're just left with the head now. The jewels are up inside that there. We'll uh, get rid of all the rest of the mess and we'll get them out. All right. So we've got the head now. It's a little bit less gruesome. <laughs> Mitch is going to get the jewels out of his fish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I found this being the easiest way to do it. A pair of uh, side cutters. Get them right in the base there. They're pretty, pretty terrible side cutters. And you just. Chip away that first little bit. So they're in that big ball looking thing. Yeah, they're, they're right in here. Yeah. And then pop. Oh, that doesn't do it. A little bit more. There we go. There's one side. There we go. There you go. Open it right up. If you have a look right in there, there's a couple of little sacks. Yeah, they're in them. In those little sacks. They're like jelly filled. Yeah. Dig them out from off. There's so one. The easiest way to do it is try not to break the sacks if you can avoid it. Which I just did. And you pull the sacks out together. 
Yeah. Uh, that one's not going to wiggle out. There's one. There's one. There's there the we other go. One. Oh. There's both jewels. That one's still in the sack. There we go. There we go. That is the jewels out of a Mulloway. There's the jewels out of the head of a Mulloway or a Jewfish. So they got the name Jewelfish, which then got shortened to Jewfish. We call them Mulloway over here in Western Australia, but. On the east coast, they call them Jewfish because of those little stones in their head, as far as I know, anyway. So, yeah, one of very few fish that actually have stones, not just an ear bone in the head. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, man. Awesome. Awesome. Couple more to add to the collection. Yeah.